Hi, I'm Jules at IMTS TV. I'm here with astronaut Captain Wendy Lawrence. Captain Wendy Lawrence, you just had a great speech with the kids today to talk to them about space exploration. Can you tell us a little bit about your career? Well, I started off as a 10-year-old being absolutely amazed by watching Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon for the first time. So that was the moment the childhood dream began to become an astronaut. And growing up in a Navy family, it was pretty easy to follow in the footsteps of my grandfather and father and go to the United States Naval Academy and become a naval aviator. So I flew helicopters always with the idea of eventually flying on board spaceships. And so I feel very honored and privileged that I had an opportunity to fly on the space shuttle four times. Wow, that is fantastic. So um, all together, how long were you in space? Just over 50 days, which now, when you compare that with crews on board the International Space Station, it's not a lot, but any day in space is a great day. I'd say so. Yes. Um, so when you're talking to the, to the children, what topics did you cover? What are your big points today? Well, first Lego League this year has got the theme of into space, and so kids are challenged to come up with something for their robot to do to help crews who are in space for a long period of time perhaps on a mission to Mars and living on Mars. So I just tried to provide them with an overview of what we've learned by having crew members live on board the International Space Station, what it's like to live and work in space, some of the challenges they face from being up in a different level of gravity for a long period of time, how that affects the human body, uh, the challenges of trying to keep everything working on board, like the method you're going to use to create your drinking water or how you're going to create oxygen for you to breathe. So things along those lines. My job was not to solve their problems, but just to plant some seeds. That sounds excellent. And I really enjoyed hearing about the realities um, in space that you don't always hear about. So that was fascinating. So what's the most common question you got today? Oh, I don't know that there was one. The kids had great questions. Uh, you know, they're really taking this challenge to heart about what they can have their robot do. I think that just the idea of being able to float around in space uh, is interesting to them. But then landing on the surface of a different planet. What's the habitat? What does it need to be like? What am I going to do with my trash? Obviously, kids like to relate things to their own life. So what do you eat? Uh, the challenge of trying to grow plants in space. What about snacks? I want my favorite food. How am I going to do that? Uh, but there were many different types of questions, very thoughtful questions, and so I really enjoyed each and every presentation today. Excellent. Well, I'm sure it ignited their imaginations. Um, how do you connect manufacturing with um, space travel, with NASA, with all things space? <laughs> uh, pretty strong connection yeah. because first off, you got to ride the rocket. Somebody has designed it, somebody's manufactured it, somebody's assembled it, your spacecraft as well. And so without people understanding that technology uh, and making it reliable for us, because it's very important that everything works and that it's well designed. Um, you would not get into space. So the so space program, its foundation is a strong manufacturing sector. Excellent. Well, this has been fascinating. Thank you so much. I'm Jules McGuire from IMTS-TV.